We're going to talk about how carbons can be classified by the substitution. And this is really a product of the amount of branching on a carbon that we just looked at in various isomers. We can classify carbons by the number of other carbons attached. So I'm going to write three examples that we're going to go through. And for these, we can classify any of the carbons in the molecule, but I'm just going to pick one carbon in each for us to classify. And what you want to look at, look at the carbon you're interested in, and then just count how many carbons are attached to it. So in this first one, my carbon of interest, I have one carbon, two carbons attached. Two carbons, we call that a secondary carbon. And we use this two degree symbol to represent secondary. This is called two prime. On the next one, I've highlighted the carbon of interest, and then it has one, two, three carbons attached. So that makes that a tertiary carbon. And then in this third example, here's our central carbon, and it's bonded to one, two, three, four carbons. So that's four prime or quaternary. Uh, let me just add one more. I'm going to redraw uh, the first molecule. So if you look at one of the carbons on the end, say you're interested in that, that carbon is attached to just one carbon, so that would be primary. We can actually apply the same system to some other functional groups like alcohols and halides. So let's take a look at um, a couple of examples here. Here we have an alcohol. Here we have a chloride. So if you're asked about the functional group, look at the carbon it's bonded to and then just see how many carbons that carbon's attached. This one has one, two carbons attached. So that is a secondary alcohol because that's our functional group of interest. Or you can think of it because the alcohol is on a secondary carbon. In the second one, we're looking at this carbon with the chloride attached, and this carbon is bonded to one, two, three other carbons, so we would call that a tertiary chloride. 